Hey, how's it going? Vladimir Donis here. So, hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead, please, and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe to my channel. If you listen to this via my um, my podcast, please go ahead and subscribe to the podcast as well. So today I want to jump online and talk about, um, you know, running Facebook ads, the three common mistakes that you should avoid. So now as of the time of this recording, I run three separate meetups in my local area. So now I was doing a meetup with a group of individuals um, last week, and one of the requests was, you know, Facebook ads. So that's one of the things that this new meetup group they want to know about and they want to learn about. So I said, you know what? Hey, I'm going to be doing that via my meetups in the next in the next couple of weeks. But I wanted to kind of just jump online and talk about you know the common mistakes essentially. So my first stab at Facebook ads was not a success. It was not a successful one. So essentially, I remember um, you know I was running my online dating website. And one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and debut my online dating website. So my online dating website is about you know dating and it's about dancing. So one of the things that I was going to go do is I was going to go ahead and debut it at a place called the Caribbean Carnival. The Caribbean Carnival specifically happens in the Miami area and it happens every October. It just happened not so long ago, as a matter of fact. So essentially, I knew that at that specific location, there's a lot of individuals there they like to dance. So I thought to myself, okay, these individuals like to dance. Perhaps there's some people in the crowd that may also be single. Let me go ahead and debut my dating site, my dating slash, my dating slash dancing site at that specific venue. I was very excited. One of the first things I did is I sent out um, a notification or a post via my Facebook um, my, my Facebook timeline, and I got a lot of people interested. So now here's the thing I was offering to these individuals. I said, hey, I know that the Caribbean Carnival is coming up. I want to do two things for you. I want to buy you a free ticket to the carnival, and I want to provide you with some gear to wear at the actual carnival. So I was going to be buying these individuals a ticket to the carnival, and number two, I was also going to be um, you know, going to be buying these individual shirts that had the name of my company, Admire Dance. So I was going to go ahead and give them this, 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 this ticket, and they were going to be able to kind of just showcase my uh, my dating company. So essentially, all in all, this was going to cost me, I want to say give or take about 50 bucks. So here I am, I'm very excited. I had about maybe about 20, 25 people that said yes to the free ticket, that said yes to wearing the gear. And I'm about a week a week away from launching this this whole you know what I call this whole campaign. It's going to give me a lot of buzz. It's going to bring me a lot of signups, so on and so forth. Here I am, very very excited. And then a friend of mine told sat sat me down and said, you know what, man, you're going to be spending fifty dollars per person. Why don't you try Facebook ads? He he said to me, he said, you know what, you can probably spend about you know two dollars a dollar and fifty cents for signups, and you can get targeted people to go to your website. Why don't you try Facebook ads? And I thought about that. I was like, man, here I am I'm about to pay $50, 50 plus to an individual to go to a specific area to showcase my dating site, and I might not get any, any signups as a result of that. He's right. Let me go ahead and try this whole Facebook ads thing. So now he told me what I needed to do, but he had no idea how to do it. So I went and I, quote unquote, launched my first Facebook ad. Right, without having any knowledge whatsoever, without having any knowledge whatsoever, I kind of just went in, went into the dashboard of Facebook, and then kind of just launched my first ad. And if you can probably, you can probably guess it, the first ad did not go too well. It was a, <laughs> it was not a success at all. Let's, let's, you know, let's just say that. So because it was not a success at all, I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe this platform just doesn't work for my type of business. So I kind of just kept going and kept doing, you know, other things as it relates to try and promote and to, and, and to launch my business. And I just kept hearing, you know, other marketers talk about Facebook. Facebook being, you know what, the most prominent platform to generate leads. Facebook is very lucrative. Facebook, Facebook. So, um, you know, essentially, I went ahead and I bought a course on Facebook. So when I bought the course on Facebook, I started kind of just learning all of the things that I just was not doing properly. I wasn't doing any of those things correctly. So I followed the, 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 the course, you know, step by step. And as a result of me following the course step by step, I was able to generate tons and tons of leads you know, from Facebook. Now, I didn't just generate tons and tons of leads for one of my businesses. I also generated tons and tons of leads for another business. I also generated tons of leads for another business. So I, I started to kind of to see the pattern and be like, okay, wait a second. Facebook ads does work and it works for this type of business, for this type of business, for this type of business. It's a strategy thing. I was not going about it, um, you know, the right way. And essentially, one of the first things, you know, that I said to myself or one of the things that I said, you know, when it wasn't successful, I said, okay, if your potential customer is, is using the internet for a place to gather information or to obtain free resources, 
<laughs> including coupons, um, you know, then Facebook ads will definitely work, um, you know, work for you. Um, and then the other thing is that, you know, the, the thing is, okay, how does this work for me? So essentially, just at a high, high level, obviously, I'm going to be teaching this via, you know, via local meetup and I'm going to be teaching this um, you know um, you know via other other platforms but essentially just at a very 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 high level one of the first things that um, you know I had to do is I had to use something something in something inside of Facebook called audience insight so essentially I had to go inside of the Facebook audience insight and I had to type in a key phrase so that's the number one thing that I did I typed in the key phrase so after I typed in the key phrase what I, I what I learned was that Facebook collect a whole lot of data for regardless of what the keyword is, right? Facebook collect data about me, Facebook collect data about you, regardless of who, who the individual is, whether or not the person is on Facebook or not on Facebook, Facebook collect all of these different data. So let's just use um, cruises, for example. So if I went into Facebook Audience Insights and I type in, I type in cruise company, a whole bunch of data is going to come up. After the data come up, what's going to happen is I'm going to be able to select cruise companies. After I select the cruise companies, Facebook is going to essentially show me the ads that this Facebook, that this cruise company is running, and then I can essentially see the ads that this that this group is uh, that this um, cruise company is running. I can see essentially what type of image they're using. I can see what type of content they put on it, and I can see where they are sending that specific, um, you know, that specific individual via some type of call to action. Obviously, this is just, you know, high, high level. There's definitely a lot of details in between, but I wanted to kind of just talk about, you know, modeling some of the things that, that already works. Your company, your organization, hopefully the thing that you do, there are other people that are doing the exact same thing. Essentially, it's about modeling some of the things that are already working. Your audience already exists online. If your audience is searching for stuff online, you're already online, and you can go ahead and target those individual via, you know, via, via Facebook. So three of the common mistakes that I've noticed was that, um, you know, a lot of times what I did at first is that I was sending face, I was sending my ads to my homepage. That's a big no-no because your homepage is usually not congruent with the thing that they saw on the first page. The, the second thing is that I wasn't giving them an offer. So essentially, I wasn't giving them a guide. I wasn't giving them a download. I wasn't giving them something that's specific to, um, you know, their, their pain point. And then the, 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 the mistake number three is that I was sending them to a place whereby it was almost like a billboard and it was creating confusion. So when someone go on your site, when someone, when someone clicks on your ad from Facebook, you cannot create confusion. Um, you know, for those specific individuals as well. So that that's of of course, obviously, that's a very 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 high level that I wanted to kind of just jump online and and provide. And essentially, what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks is I'm going to be you know teaching this via um, essentially my three different my three different meetups, provided you know these individuals show interest. Now, one of my meetups, individuals have shown interest, so I know that I'm going to be teaching it in one of my meetups. I may teach it in, at, in my other meetups. The other things that the other thing I wanted to do, which is why I'm recording this video online is um, I'm going to probably be recording the content via the meetup. So, and this is content that you are interested in. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and um, give you the opportunity to um, go ahead and indicate that. There's going to be a link somewhere on this page. You're going to go ahead and click on the link. When you go on the link, you're going to be able to leave your email and your information. If this is something that you're interested in, then I will consider sending you the, um, you know, the recording, providing you with the recording for a very, very, very small fee. So essentially, if you want to run Facebook ads for your business, you hear all this stuff about Facebook ads, how does it work, does it work for you type of thing, I'm going to be recording the content that I'm going to be um, doing via my meetup in the next couple of weeks. You can go ahead and leave your name and information. It's going to be somewhere on this page. Leave that information, and I will send you um, that information for a small a small fee. So hey, once again, if you listen to this via my YouTube, because I'm going to go ahead and share this via my YouTube channel and via my podcast, if you listen to this, on any of those platforms, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Thanks for listening. Um, you know, thanks for sharing. Thanks for engaging. And that is my time. Once again, there's a link somewhere on this page. Click on the link somewhere on this page so that, that way you can go ahead and get additional information about the recorded version of the content. Because you may be watching this, you may not be local, you may not necessarily be in my area, you may want to have access to this content. And I want to provide access to that content with to you as well, because it's going to be a full-blown training. So hey, thanks for listening. That is my time. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.